Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements and today we've got this dresser that we're gonna redo and well, bring back to life. So hit that subscribe button and let's get this project started. All right, overall, piece is in pretty good condition. We're missing a handle. I couldn't find a replacement handle, so we're gonna have to take all of these off. Luckily, it's a three inch center, so I found some at Home Depot. We'll put those in and see how it looks at the end. So, let's remove all the hardware, pull the drawers. We're gonna check the tracks, subframe, make sure we're not missing anything that needs to be puttied or fixed, and then we're gonna start our sanding. From there, paint, wax, or paint, scuff, and wax, and well, hopefully the end product's gonna look pretty amazing. Let's do a quick run by so you can see the beginning and then you can see the after at the end. To a point where we can start sanding, got the drawers out, all the hardware off, we cleaned out all the <laughs> old paperwork that was in there. Got 80 grit sandpaper on the DeWalt sander, got a mask, we're scuff sanding everything down and everything's getting painted. So nice over, get everything as much as possible, we're not taking it down to bare wood, we're just scuffing it nicely, getting anywhere, any of the shine and sheen off of it, and then, well. We'll get this all cleaned up and next thing you know, we'll be painting it. All right, <laughs> we are done sanding, vacuuming, wiping down clean. And now we can start the fun part of painting this and actually seeing the transformation started. So, uh, we've got all the drawers uh, set up here. We're gonna paint them once, set them out in the sun, paint them twice, and then we'll start on this big beast here behind us. Uh, we'll get two coats on that too. Today, Bear Premium Plus Prime and Paint. It's called Very Navy. It's a popular color that I use quite a bit. And well, it goes on really nice. It's an eggshell finish. So, we'll apply it with this wedge brush here, two inch Wooster angle brush, super nice, and well, looking at about an hour and a half, two hours work here. So let's get started. Two coats of paint on it, let it dry in this Arizona heat, so it took about five minutes. <laughs> now it actually took a little longer than that to really get it to cure, but it's ready for us to start scuffing it up. Now this is a step that you definitely could skip if you like that solid look. But with vintage statements here, we like that worn in, vintage feel, kind of beat up feel to it, and that's what we're going to do today. So the old 80 grip sandpaper that we were using to sand the piece down, well, we're going to use it again. Just work the edges, scuff around it, and give it a nice look. So let's get started. Alright, we're getting there. We have sanded it down, wiped it off, vacuumed it out. 
And now we're ready to add our mini wax. So today, mini wax, paste finishing wax, natural. I'm using an old sock. It's Arizona here, so this is already a nice melt. So it's gonna be great. Easy to put on, wipe on, wipe off. And then next time you see this piece, well, it'll have the hardware on and uh, it'll be finished. So let's get started. All right, here it is completed. Very navy is the color. Finish is an eggshell. We finalized it with that nice wax. Handles on, and well, I think it looks pretty cool. If you like this project of mini editors, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram. Leave us a comment or two, tell us what you think about this project.